A man faces serious charges after police say he led officers on a chase through two Kentucky counties and assaulted a state trooper before getting away with that trooper's gun. WDRB's Dalton Godby found out where that chase happened and why neighbors say it was like nothing they had ever seen before. Sulphur Lick Road in Marion County dead ends right here, but a gravel road keeps going into the woods. That's where the chase ended and the next several hours began. Early mornings on Sulphur Lick Road in rural Marion County are quiet. Yeah, it's pretty peaceful out here. I mean, everybody usually gets along pretty good, and everybody's usually really nice out here. But Friday was the exception, a stark contrast to the norm, and James Lucas had a front row seat from his front door. Then we heard the, the siren go by and him hit the gravel. Yeah. Hang in there. We are coming. Kentucky State Police says a trooper tried to stop 31-year-old Dustin Thompson just after midnight Friday in Nelson County. And then it was like 10, 15 minutes and there a swarm of cops out here. Thompson sped away and led the state trooper to Marion County, then jumped out and ran at the dead end on Sulphur Lick Road. The trooper caught him, but police say Thompson assaulted and strangled the trooper, stole his gun, and then took off. 972. 972, we got units coming to you. Just keep talking to me. 972, keep talking to me. Oh my God. Okay, honey, we're coming to you. We've got units coming to you. Next thing I know, about 30 minutes later, there's cops all the way up and down the road. All units responding, prepare for an ambush. Just because we can't make contact with him, we know he's armed with 972's firearm. They, they came up here and they told us to go back inside. It wasn't safe to be out here. Hmm. They told us to keep the doors locked and all that. Thompson was found just before noon Friday and arrested on assault, strangulation, and theft charges. We figured out who it was once we saw the car. Do you know who it was? Yeah. Uh, he's one of the neighbors down here, which we didn't have any problems out of him. But I mean, know he's been in trouble before. But. Court documents confirmed Thompson's address was just down the road where police blocked the entrance to his driveway. But Lucas says he's been a quiet neighbor otherwise and hopes that quiet comes back. That's pretty crazy. Uh, hopefully once in a lifetime thing. The state trooper who was assaulted was treated at the hospital and then released. With photojournalist Chad Cantlener in Marion County, Dalton Godby, WDRB News. And court records show Thompson was charged with assault in a different case in Nelson County back in 2014. He pleaded guilty in that case. Don't